Hello buddy, welcome back to Brand Stone Channel. My name is Gaming and welcome back to a brand new F1 manager video. Today we are here for round three of the 2022 season. So as you can see our board confidence is medium, which is I guess not the very best, but hey it's not that bad. Um no development points as of right now, but yeah, so now we're gonna be racing in Melbourne, Australia. So yeah, let's see how that will go. Anyways, I'll see you guys after qualifying. So yeah, now here we are at the race. Uh, here we are race day. We didn't finish as well as I hoped, but 17 and 18th once again ahead of the two Aston Martins, which is I guess the entire fight for this championship maybe. Unless I actually get good at this game, but yeah. Okay, let's see, the tires won't really last. So yeah, okay, it doesn't work. Yeah, we need to put out like for it to last, but let's see how it will be. Let's see what strategy I chose. Alright, I chose two, but you'll see that uh, I do not have enough tires for this. You will see right now in a little bit that I do not have enough tires for this so I went back to the one stop because I didn't have enough tires so I didn't have the two medium tires I only had just one medium tire which is not very good so obviously I went with the one stop because it's the only thing that works but anyways let's go to the race now it's sunny and bright as the drivers line up on the grid Williams here. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. And then we've got Alex Albon. They're in the back half of the pack, so they'll need to work hard if they want a podium finish. Will their hard work pay off today? Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go! So here we are at the start of the Grand Prix P1718 off the line, as you can see. It's like Leclerc, Vettel, not Vettel, Leclerc, Verstappen, Perez, and Sainz, then Hamilton top 5 right now. Albon has just got pushed by Vettel. I don't know why Albon had to slow down that much, but he had to slow down quite a bit. The gap is already 8 tenths. Wow, that is a huge loss for Albon right now. Yeah. is sticking close to uh, Mick Schumacher. Let's have a look. As we watch the replay a look of again. why it Albon has to slow down so much. Vettel goes down the inside. I take a screenshot for some reason. But it looks Goodness like... Me. Yeah, I guess go. he just got forced Moving away by Vettel. Driver. It is what it is. Hopefully he can catch up to the rest. But 17 and 19 right now. Piastri is right behind Mick Schumacher as we said it back to neutral as he was using a bit too much URS in my eyes. Yep, the gap is only 3 tenths but 5, 6 tenths between Albon and Vettel which is a huge gap. A lot bigger than what I would have wanted but it is what it is. We'll have to use what we can. Piastri is falling behind Mick Schumacher so we're going to switch it back to overtake just so that. Overtake? Is overtake? Just so that hopefully he can um, get back into the position that I want him to be, which is to be ahead. Well, hopefully be ahead of Schumacher by the end of the race, but let's see how this will play out. Uh, Piastri using pretty much all of his ERS, which is way too much of his struggle to turn off ERS. Or the overtake mode, but anyways, that's it for that part. So here are lap 19 of Here's the three. replay. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. And As there's we the lock-up. It almost lock -up. got away from them entirely. Well that's not very good for it looks like it was Pierre Gasly. So yeah, it drops him down behind Piastri. Piastri is now right behind the Albon Albondo. Very, very far behind from Landon Norris, which is not very good for us. Albon is way, way far behind, a lot more further behind than I wanted to. 
But as of right now, Piastri is still in the fight, so that is something that we can look up for. Piastri is still behind Lance Stroll, of course, no DRS on the straight. Or not really straight, but this long. Well, I guess it is straight. But now with DRS, he goes down the inside, Piastri down the inside is now ahead of Lance Stroll. Okay, good job, good job. He is ahead of Lance Stroll. Let's see if he can hold his position. Yes, he can, and that's good. That's P15 for now. But as we now switch the camera back to it, Piastri has just defended from Stroll. Gasly is getting into the mix, both of them with DRS, but it looks like Piastri is still going to hold on for now. So here we are on lap 35, and we're going to obviously start pitting, so let's be Piastri. Box, box. Alright, so Piastri is going to box this lap. Uh, right now, yeah, he's going to enter right now. Leave call increase, please. Yeah. Mid entry. Copy. Watch out, white line and pick him down entry. Alright, let's hope this is gonna be a good stop from our pit stop. Oh. Alright, not bad. 2.7, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, Albon's still behind Stroll, though. It, the question is will he actually get ahead of the Aston Martin? Yes. He will. Yes, he will. He actually is still ahead of Stroll. Albon's still behind Stroll, though. That's the only problem. We need to get ahead of the Aston. Register lift and co. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's not good. So we need. Oh no, Vettel's overtaken Albon. Yeah, that's Albon down a place. That's not good. Let's reduce lift and coast. Yes. Let's close this gap. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, we really need Albon to be ahead of the two Aston Martins, so that's not going to be very good, especially for the constructors. Or. We'll be boxing. Okay, box, box. Well, we just need a track position because we're obviously going to pit him. So let's see what's going to happen. Oh, it looks like Shaw is making a move on Piastri. Shaw goes down the inside. Piastri will have to defend. They're side by side. Piastri is on the outside. Shaw on the inside. They're still side by side. Piastri getting the inside and is finally ahead. Or to drop back. Or I spoke too soon. They're going down the straight. Side by side. Shaw does get past Piastri with DRS. That means Vettel could get. Piastri also. Well, let's hope Albon's stop isn't slow. Once again, 2.7. Consistent. That's nice. Um, now, oh, oh, that's not good. Piastri having to defend from Vettel. Who's on the hard compound, Piastri on the mediums. I don't get how he's not doing well. Albon is out of this race. There's no way he can come back. 18 seconds a gap between him and Vettel. Yeah, there's no way he will do something. So, so what we need to do is Piastri get ahead of the two Astons. So yeah, nothing happened until now, which is as you can see, a yellow flag has just happened. As you can, see, someone has crashed. Uh, let's see who it is. Yellow red. Perfect. It's like someone crashed in sector one. It would seem. Oh, that's a crash. It was like Gasly has crashed. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. Oh, thank he... goodness nobody else was involved. That was a big crash. Well, Gasly like crashed himself instead of crashing into the Ferrari. Well, that's actually very kind of him to not run into the back of that Ferrari right there. Unless that far I would have been taken out Looks too. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Piastri ahead of Gasly also. That's really good. But I don't think Piastri will be able to hold off Gasly. Because they're in uh, Alphatari. And it's Gasly. So. Uh, 7 seconds to gap. Here we are on the final lap. As you can see Gasly is still behind us. The final lap. You're opening your final lap. 
And what's even better is that Gasly is still behind uh, Piastri, which is going to be very, very nice for us. Uh, Albon does get past Stroll, but now we need him to get past Vettel. This final lap of the Australian Grand Prix, Piastri in P16, which is doing very good. Uh, Albon is now going to have to defend from Stroll. Stroll looking for a move, no space, and Albon stays ahead. Cool deploy. So, Piastri, 27 seconds away from Schumacher, there's no way that's going to do, he's going to catch up unless Schumacher crashes. Gasly is 11 seconds, same short story there. So Piastri did well, held his position. Go race, mate. Yep, go race. Yeah. He held his position. Gasly made a mistake, letting us get past Gasly. P16 for Williams from Piastri. It looks like that is going to be the position we finish in. Albon, not a very good race for him. P19, not ahead of Vettel, which is the problem for him today. But still, I guess a decent race. 18 seconds behind Vettel, but now 19. And that's be actually over the line. Okay, check it, flag. Check it, flag. That was a fair result from Piastri. P16 ahead of Gasly, so that's... Another driver, he finished it ahead instead of just Aston's. So, P16-19 for this race. Not the position I wanted. Flip the flag. Yeah, I wanted Albon to be ahead of at least better, so like, it uh, would have been better for 16-18. But you can't get everything you want, so... A wonderful result here for the Williams driver. Williams have got to be happy with their results here. This was good work. This was an extremely convincing race for them. They won impressive team. And they deserve to celebrate this properly. With the race wrapped up, the team is ranked in ninth in the constructor standings. Now the teams will be looking ahead to Imola, where the season progresses with the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Get ready for some fierce competition. All right, so that was a good race for Piastri and not the best for Albon. P17 still, at least we're still ahead of the Aston still. Uh, constructed wise, still ninth. We we're gonna try to get Haas by the end of the season at least. Yeah, one point for Piastri. That's good. Albon nothing and Piastri not. Uh, not Piastri. Uh, Theo Porcher nothing. Driver bonus, uh, 15th and 10th or higher. Yeah, that's fine. Gonna be fine for a while. Except Piastri, he almost made the 15th, so. But that'll be good. Uh. Oh, FIA regulation. Go for low downforce or high downforce. I guess we go for a low downforce. I don't know why. I don't know. I just chose something. I should have probably checked the stats of the car. But it is what it is. Let's see. Great race. PS3 design apart. Let's see. Um, am I going to. Nope. I hope. Please, am I going to. Yep, okay. So we need smoothness. So that's what I put it on. Now 50 smoothness. Hopefully, that will make him be able to last on his tires longer. So yeah, everything else looks good, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe. It's free and it really, really helps me out. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. Anyways, this is Gaming Sign Off. I'll see you in a brand new video. Peace.